One thing to be thankful for, Pawpaw's percolator. At least we have coffee. Well, our gas range, even though it's dirty and clean, and I'm making oatmeal. This is day two of Texas deep freeze three. that we've ever, the coldest we've had been in decades. Huh? Well, that we're, it's, Caleb says it's day three, but it's actually day, it is day three, but it's day two of the horror. Okay? Some, one of our friends says it, it was snowmageddon. <laughs> Let me show you what it looks like outside. We haven't gotten any more snow, but it hasn't melted or anything. It's still the same. And about 3 o'clock today, it's supposed to start up again. And But it's going to be ice, too, which Texas always gets ice. And you'll have to excuse the way we look. We have no water, so we just are surviving. Uh, the whole house is froze up. The well's froze up. Mama's house is froze up. Uh, we are one of the lucky ones. We go, we'll go without power for about two, sometimes three. This morning it was four hours, and then they give us uh, 20 minutes of power. Well, when you just have the wood stove going and you don't have the blower because we, ha we have a blower on it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't heat like it needs to. Um, but as soon as it that we get our 20 minutes, well, it, we have a couple of, of space heaters, electric heaters we have plugged in here and there. We'll have all that on. We run. It's like a scramble. As soon as this, the 20 minutes come on, we'll run. We'll put our phones on the charger. We do all this stuff. Flush the, uh, well, we can't flush the toilets. That's before when we still had water. But, um, because the well had to have electric, but now that's all froze up. So what we're doing now is uh Christopher's house still has half water. Some of his stuff froze up, some of it's not. One bathroom in the middle of the house isn't. And so they filled up a bunch of uh five gallon water things, brought them over here, and uh that's how we're flushing our toilets, and that's how I'm going to wash dishes because I'm running out of um dishes. The dishwasher's full of dirty dishes, but so he brought in that. We didn't want to use our drinking water because you can't find drinking water right now. It's crazy. There was one gas station that was selling a, a case of bottled waters for $35. I wish somebody would. It, I, I'm not the one that's seen it, so I can't turn them in, but that is horrible. And uh, so, but when Christopher goes and, and fills up those, and then also the ones I put a C on though for Christopher, this means that this is not drinking water. Uh, I'll warm it up on the stove, and that's how I'm going to wash some dishes. And to conserve some of the water, I got a whole bunch of these. Thank the Lord we found these from COVID, and Chris had found a bunch at Costco, so we have bottles and bottles of them. Like this pan, I take these and I wipe it out. I should have did it when it was first dirty. But I thought we would get water by then, so it didn't get done. I'm going to wipe it out as best I can, and then I'll use that water I'm going to heat up to wash it. It goes further if you wipe your stuff out first. But it's crazy. We Businesses are shut down. Um, it's, it's, it's pitiful. They said it's a two hour wait just to go through a drive through to get Whataburger. That's a hamburger place, not McDonald's, but better. Because everybody's power is either off or they don't have it and they don't have a means to cook. And um, of course, we're talking about city people. When he goes to, he went to work and he says it's a lot worse than here. Here, we know how to survive pretty much. Well, city people don't. Sorry if you're a city person. Anyway, um, I'm going 
to try to wash this up. Tonight's more, more of that junk is coming. Ice and uh, snow. We're supposed to, supposed to start snowing about 3 o'clock. Snow all day, all night, and um, tomorrow. So, we'll see. Hopefully they're wrong. But I haven't really checked it since in the middle of the night. I don't have any service except for calls on my phone. I can't get on Facebook. I can't send a text. I can't do anything like that unless it's in the middle of the night. And so, if y'all are commenting on my videos, I don't even know it. Unless I check it in the middle of the night when it's not overloaded. So, we're almost out of propane. That's why I'm heating water on the... Uh, I've been conserving because we have 5% on our tank. He's supposed to come. We've been on the list. Um, I'm praying he comes today. I called earlier. She said that he would be here today or tomorrow. So we don't have our, when the electricity comes on, we don't have our central heat coming on at all. Just the wood stove. And because uh, we're trying to save the 5% that we have. We have a 500, 500 gallon tank, so... We have about 25 or so, I don't know, gallons or what, however much that ends up being. So hopefully he comes today. But it's been a experience for sure. But I'm going to wash up these dishes. And hopefully we'll be able to cook some dinner on the stove if he delivers our propane. Otherwise, we're going to be eating out of the microwave when we get our 20 minutes. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna show you my system. So I've got my hot water here, and then I saved a little bit of the hot water and I added some regular water. It's my rick on me, my rinse water. So let's let's do, act like we're camping and uh, and get this done. But I tell you what, this is not fun, and it's supposed to be like that. This is Tuesday. It's supposed to be like this until Sunday. So that's why people are freaking out. Ooh, I got this water. It's really hot. Um, they're not they're not used to this. We got power. It just came on. So we'll see how many. It's been on for two minutes. We'll see how long it stays on. Um, for six cups to a, a deal and a half. With a little scoop. Oh, just pour it on the side. Does it not have a deal? Hang on, y'all. Okay, just pour it up. Just pour it in here. And then... We've got eight cups. We'll drink it. When we get power, we start making coffee and everything else that we can do. Warm up something in the microwave. Uh, uh, sometimes it's an hour. Sometimes it's two hours. This morning it was four hours. So, anyway, y'all. Uh, pray for us. Pray for Mama and Nanny. Ma Nanny's on hospice, and she's at home, and this weather is making her oxygen not work right. And if it gets below 50 in your house, the oxygen, or below 50, at 48, the oxygen won't work. So, they're having a hard time keeping something going over there. But uh, Mama, she won't leave. So... I'm taking care of her. Anyway, all right, y'all. I'll update y'all when I have something to update. Another wonderful thing about this um, stove is you can put, you can cook on top of here. It doesn't boil water, but it, it does heat stuff up. So we have a couple of baked potatoes. It takes about two hours to bake a potato <laughs> it tastes pretty good after it gets done okay caleb's potatoes are done now those look good baked potatoes with ranch cheese and seasoning
11 degrees. We're gonna go check on the cows in Christopher's house. That's on Major 2, 287, Highway 287. Yep, that is another one. Well, we don't see that very often, do we? People drive pretty fast. Three firemen, they're gonna go check and see what's going on in there. We're gonna check on Christopher's house. Oof. Oh, his heat's going. See how that smoke coming out of his flue pipe? It's pretty deep. He's probably telling him, get all that off of your shoes. Don't bring that in my house. And these all subs burritos are so nasty, they're good. <laughs> and here's all subs. I'm not sure if it's a Texas thing or what, but it's just a little gas station. And they sell these wonderful, nasty burritos. No tickets. Look. I bought you a reckless tooth police here.
our little garden over there. We're getting a little bit. Oh, eight degrees. We're not used to this. Wow. It's so powdery, it's not worth nothing. Don't let... You need to find Nikki. Good job, Caleb. <laughs> Get out so we can see it. You regret it? How pretty. Look at Caleb Snow Angel. Well, we've survived another day. Propane man didn't show up. Talk to y'all tomorrow.